Hi guys, doing? My name is Eric from Triple H Roofing, and today we're going to talk about what is TPO. Uh, we're going to go over uh, what exactly is a TPO roofing system. Who is this TPO roofing system for? What are the benefits of TPO? How long does TPO last? And what is actually the process of installing a TPO roof? So if you're a business owner and you may be thinking about getting a new TPO roof, hopefully this video can help answer some questions you might have. So what is actually TPO? So TPO stands for thermoplastic polyfin. What it is, is basically a single ply membrane. It's relatively new compared to other roofing materials such as uh, asphalt, but it's been growing for a good amount of time now and it's used in a lot of commercial properties here in the United States. Now, who is TPO actually good for? Uh, so TPO is used mostly in commercial properties. We see it a lot in new construction. Uh, you see it in a lot of, uh, for example, gas stations. You see them in hotels. Uh, shopping centers, industrial buildings, uh, any small businesses, uh, offices, warehouses. So mostly commercial buildings, any place you really have a flat, low slope roof, uh, that's where you can see TPO. So why has TPO been growing so rapidly in Houston? Uh, there's a couple different reasons. Uh, those include the durability. So this uh, type of roofing system does very well with the Houston weather. It withstands rain and UV uh, very well. It's a very durable roof. Uh, these tend to last you about 25 to 30 years on average. Another reason is the energy efficiency. So this type of roll membrane, what it does is actually bounces off UV rays coming from the sun and actually makes your building more energy efficient. So instead of absorbing all that heat, it bounces it off, causing you to spend less money on things like electricity for your AC units. It's also very economical. So in terms of material and labor, it's not as expensive as you might think. So it can actually fit your budget pretty nicely. Another reason is the ease of installation. So we have a couple of different options when it comes to installing this roof, uh, but installation is uh, a lot easier than other roofing systems. So this helps you lower your costs for a new roof. It also helps you operate out your building while this roof is being currently put on. And then lastly is gonna be the customization. So when it comes to TPO, uh, TPO within TPO, there's a lot of different options when it comes to your color, when it comes to the actual type of TPO membrane, when it comes to the details, the trim. Uh, so you have a lot of options that fit your budget and your need for your building. So how long does the TPO roof last? Now, commonly a TPO roof can last you about 25, 30 years. Uh, the warranties of manufacturers, those can vary from 15, 20 years and so on. Um, but we mostly see TPO roofs here in Houston lasting about 25, 30 years on average. And uh, one of those things that help last a roof a uh, long time is just making sure it's well maintained. Uh, so this roof is not as hard or difficult to maintain as other roofs, but you still have to maintain it to keep the longevity. Which leads me to my next question, which is how do you install a TPO roof? So when it comes to CPO, we're going to talk about the most common types of installation, which is uh, mechanically attached. Uh, this is using fasteners to screw down the TPO onto the current roof system. Now, mechanically attached is probably going to be the most common that you see. It's very economical, and it helps your uh, TPO roof last a very uh, long time. Another option you also have is adhered. Now, adhered is mostly used in areas where you have a lot of high winds. Now, this system could be a lot more expensive to install versus the mechanically attached. Uh, that's why it's used not as much, but mostly whenever the building is uh, needing a lot of uh, wind resistance. And then you have a couple different options too, which includes induction welding. Uh, this is using magnets and plates and fasteners, a combination of mechanically attached and adhered uh, to keep the TPO down. But those are really going to be the three most common. Uh, mostly what we see here in Houston is going to be mechanically attached and adhere. We do see some induction and some other ones as well, but it's going to be those two that are the most common. So what are the steps for actually installing a TPO roof? So the first step is going out to your property and seeing what you currently have on. That might mean taking a core sample, uh, seeing if you have one layer roof, two layers of roof, seeing what type of insulation you have on, what type of decking you have on the roof right there. And then from there, we can go ahead and start customizing your TPO roof that's going to be best for your building. And then after that, we go ahead and start the job. So the first step is going to be preparing the surface, making sure everything is cleaned up for the TPO roof. Then after that, we go ahead and start installing the insulation. Uh, we install insulation, whether it's a fan fold or a poly iso or a cover board or both. And then after we install the installation, we go ahead and start installing the TPO membrane. So both the installation and the membrane, we can install it different ways like we talked about earlier. We can use fasteners or we can use an adhered uh, system. And then after installing the TPO, we start welding it together. So we start welding all the seams. We start hand welding, we start using the robots and just fusing the seams together. How a TPO works is uh, you have to weld it together for those two uh, membranes to fuse together to make sure it creates this uh, tight water bond 
a hold. And then after doing all the welding on all the scenes, we start focusing on the flashing, all the details. We start, you know, flashing all the plumbing boots, your rooftop units, your AC units, really anything you have on your roof that we had to flash. We start doing all the details, all the edge metal, all the termination around the roof and make sure there's no uh, there's nothing that's open or there's nothing that's being left behind. Then lastly, we do a quality assurance check. So we go ahead and walk around, make sure everything is good to go. There's no open seams. Every detail has been flashed correctly. All the plumbing boots have been caulked and sealed as they should be. And just, you know, just doing one quick uh, final inspection walkthrough, make sure everything is cleaned up. And after that, you're done. It's very important that you hire a professional because when it comes to these types of roofing systems, I'm telling you right now, it's very easy to go ahead and miss some details. Whether it's not welding correctly, having open seams, whether it's not properly uh, flashing your rooftop units because those little details are what cause the majority of leaks. So that's why I keep re-emphasizing. It doesn't matter if you go with us or anybody else. Just make sure you hire a professional TPO roofer because I'm telling you right now, this type of roofing system, you do need experience and someone that knows what they're doing. What type of installation do I need for TPO? So like we said earlier, uh, TPO roof systems are going to vary. So I'm just going to give you the most common. The two most common types of insulation we see in the Houston area are going to be fan fold and poly iso. So EPS fan fold, that's going to be the most economical. That's usually the cheaper type of insulation we can install on the roof. The R value is very low. It's about two points something for that R value for the insulation. Um, versus poly iso. Poly iso, you can get in different thickness. You can get in a one inch, two inch, three inch, and so on. Uh, these are gonna be a little bit more expensive than your fan fold. Uh, and then the R value for this depends on your thickness is gonna be about 6.7 per inch, give or take. Uh, so mostly with uh, fan fold, we see these in re-roofs and uh, a roof installation that you're doing over an current roof. So all the installation, the building, all the building code R value is good to go. So you don't need any more. Uh, really that fan fold is there to have a protector barrier between the old roof and the new roof. And then versus poly ISO, we mostly see poly ISO in new construction and buildings that have uh, maybe have a gravel roof that you have to have a, a thicker layer of insulation or the building just needs a higher R value to meet building codes. So those are really the two most common that we see. Again, it's going to depend on you know what you currently have on your building and so on. But yeah, hopefully this answers some of your questions when it comes to TPO roofing. I know TPO can be confusing. Uh, there's not as much information out there, but we will actually link a, a blog post down below. Click that link. It will actually have more information. You can check out our other blogs on TPO. Check out our pictures. So hopefully you can get a better understanding of what is TPO. And uh, if you have any other questions, drop a comment down below. We'll do our best to answer those questions. And if you're maybe thinking about getting a TPO roof for your building, give us a call. Our number is 832-458-1602. We're here to help you, even if it's just answering a few questions. We work all over the Houston area and even outside of Texas. So if you have any questions when it comes to TPO roofing, just drop a comment or give us a call, and hopefully we can help you out. But anyways, I appreciate you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.